Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm doing the Closet Confidential tag. Not that I've actually been tagged to do it, but I know it's kind of an old one. I don't know, I'm late to every party, so. Before we get into that though, I am gonna dress this. Uh, yeah, this happened. A lot of you commented on it on my last video, which was really cool. Thank you so much. If you like it, if you don't like it, that's cool. Actually, it took a lot for me to get to this before. It was like kind of a light strawberry blonde, but it had gone through a lot because they messed it up so many times at the salon. So in the end, when my mom came to visit me, we were like, screw it, let's just do it at home. And this is how it turned out. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it suits me. Anyway, let's get on with the tag. The oldest item in my closet. This is pretty easy because in case you didn't know already, I moved to London. I've been mentioning it non-stop. If you didn't know, I did move to London about six months ago and I have a mini closet. It's this little wardrobe thing right here. It's absolutely tiny. I can't fit anything in there. I couldn't bring most of my stuff. But from what I did bring, the oldest sticks out immediately. And it's these Oxford boots. They are black suede and they have been through a lot. I've had to replace the laces like three or four times. The heels are all scuffed up, but I still wear them continuously. They're my most worn shoes. These are six or seven years old. I got them from Zara when I was living in Holland and they're still going kind of strong. I can't really get away with wearing them that much longer, but um, they look kind of cool, so I'm okay with it. Second one is the newest item in my closet, and I actually have not had time or money to go shopping recently. I also work at Brandy Melville, in case you didn't know that, so a lot of times I just buy stuff there because it's just easy because I'm there already, so I end up just shopping. But it's this little bag right here. It's just a cute little bag. Mind you, I always carry smaller bags because I don't really have a lot to take with me. However, this one is tiny. It is minuscule. It is exceptionally petite and you cannot fit anything in there so unless you're cool with just carrying like your bank cards and your phone if you can get away with that then you can get away with carrying this bag it was I believe 30 pounds it's real leather so yeah it's it's cute I love it number three is my most expensive item now this one my housemate in Milan and I got it as like gifts to ourselves when we finally found an apartment. We'd been eyeing it up for a few weeks and it was like way out of our budget but we really wanted it so we like did whatever we could so that we could get it. The things you do, right? So it's this Celine uh, bracelet. It's a little knot cuff. Mine is in gold, hers is in silver. There's kind of a funny story behind this. The day I bought it, it didn't fit around my wrist. It was too small to squeeze onto my wrist, but I wanted it so badly that I bought it anyway, which is so ridiculous. By the way, this was almost 300. Anyway, I asked them if they could send it off to be adjusted for me because for the price, you would think that they would be able to do something like that, but they said no. And so my friend and I went to the jeweler. It was a 50-50 chance of it snapping and I had like heart palpitations, but it survived and now it fits. It fits. Number four is the biggest bang for your buck. And um, again, I don't have most of my stuff here in London. Of the things I do have, I remember specifically an item that I bought probably mm, three years ago. This drapey linen jacket from Zara. This is from the studio line and I paid 70 or 80 euros for this. I thought it was a good price but even if it hadn't been that inexpensive, I have worn this thing to death. It goes with everything. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. Um, it's a really good color. It's like close enough to black where you can wear like an all black outfit and then this. But it's still gray so you can wear it with like lighter pieces as well without it being too dark. You can layer with this a lot. It's just been the best. Number five is the biggest bargain. My biggest bargain was these leather shorts. I walked into River Island one day looking to return a pair of trousers that didn't fit me and I saw these and they were I think like 80 pounds but you always 
kind of have to pay that amount for real leather, something that's like made really nicely. I was considering buying them full price, however, I noticed that they were missing the top button. And so when I went to the counter, I asked the guy um, if he could do anything about that, and he offered me 10% off. When he went to put it in the machine, he typed in 10 pounds rather than 10% off. So I ended up getting these for 10 pounds, which is really good for a solid pair of leather shorts. They're made really nicely, they fit really well. I still haven't fixed the button um, because I suck. I generally wear something that covers the top part of it anyway, so no one really notices that they don't have the top button. So that's cool. Number six is something that everybody hates but I love. Now, this one's kind of hard for me because I don't think I own any of those things that people really hate, like either love or hate, like Birkenstocks or, don't know, any of those like trendy things. I don't really have much of that. However, I hate myself a little bit when I wear these shoes because it sounds like Napoleon Bonaparte is coming to town when I wear them. They jingle like crazy, like I could probably... You know? They're ridiculous. These are from Topshop. I think they look so cool. My mom even likes them a little bit. She's a stylish gal. Really loud. My biggest waste of money, uh, that's kind of hard as well because, I don't know, there are some things in my closet that even if I don't wear them that often, they're still really beautiful and I just like having them because they look great. I usually have a dress hanging back here that I love, but it was just a little bit too much to have it in the background, so I don't have it there now, but it's always on display because I just think it looks really cool. Even if I don't wear stuff that often, I still love it, so I never really like regret buying things. I will say that I buy a lot of stuff at Primark. That is so unnecessary. It's just so cheap. So I have a lot of things from Primark that I bought and I actually never wear. So yeah, I still have the tag on it. To be fair, I bought this in September and it was too cold to wear it then and it's too cold to wear it now. So I'm just waiting until the summer to see if I can like, don't know, try to pull this off a little bit. But yeah, Primark is my biggest waste of money. And the last one is kind of a bonus question, I think, and it is my three favorite items right now. The first one is this woo, white. This biker jacket from ASOS. It's just like your classic biker shape in like this dark gray kind of marled, not sheepskin. Yeah, sheepskin. It's been very nice to me and I wear it a lot. Very warm. Yeah. The next thing is, again, Brandy Melville. Sorry, it's just, I get a lot of stuff from there. It's super basic, it's just a cropped navy jumper traffic. Ever since I became an unnatural redhead, I don't know, I just think navy looks really nice with my hair. I know it sounds a little bit ridiculous, but I do think that some hair colors look better with certain clothing colors, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I think just navy looks really nice. Because it is cropped, you can wear like something peeking out under it, or you could wear it with high-waisted anything. Oh yeah. And then the last thing are these boots by a brand called F Troop. I think that's how you pronounce it. Actually, it's probably not because it's Spanish, so F Troupe, I, I These were a little bit pricey, but I thought they were so cool. They are a patent leather flat ankle booty with um, three gross green ribbons. What? Three gross green ribbon bows down the front. They zip up in the back. I think you can tell that a shoe is really great quality by the sole. There's just something about the rubber. Something about the rubber. Um, that's how you know you've got a solid pair of shoes. They are not... Okay, they jingle a little bit because of the zipper in the back, but they don't make that much noise. So, I like these. And that is the end of the tag. Again, I haven't actually been tagged by anyone, but I am going to tag people. First, Serafina, because she's lovely. I've been obsessed with her videos recently. Also, Kat Marie, of course. I think you saw that coming. If you want to answer the questions below or make a video and link me to it or anything like that, that would be great. If you haven't subscribed already and you want to see more of these shenanigans, then hit the button down below, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, especially how much you hate these shoes because I'm just curious, like maybe I should just stop wearing them, I don't know. 
feedback, guys. Feedback. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week. If you didn't negotiate with the guy at the stand, then you're an idiot.